<laughs> we just did some resin pour on some canvas to see how it turned out. It turned out great. It did. And we'll show you how we did it right, right now. now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? A great, and that's what we do here every week. This week, we're messing with resin again. I found this Rick and Morty thing on Pinterest. This time I found it on Pinterest. <laughs> and I decided I wanted to try to recreate it with resin. It's this cool Rick and Morty silhouette thing with the galaxy. We're gonna see if I can recreate it. And I'm not doing Rick and Morty. <laughs> I'm gonna do my own version of a canvas art that I kind of saw someone else do, so I'm going to see if I can't replicate it. Step one, mix up the resin. We got this total boat, total boat, total boat, tabletop epoxy. We used it last time. We have some left over. We're gonna use it again. It's a one to one ratio. <laughs> it's very precise. Very precise. Three minute stir. Okay, while he's mixing up the epoxy, I am going to start adding paint to our cups before he pours it in. So we're using these Liquitex basic acrylic paints to add the tint but I didn't have a good pink. No, no good pink. So I'm gonna use these pigment, this pigment powder and rose, rose gold. Rose gold. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit in here. And by a little bit, I mean a lot because last time I added a little bit and it wasn't enough. So I'm probably at like a quarter of a teaspoon in there. We'll see what that looks like. And then I want white. So just add a little white. Do you know what my anti superpower is? Putting tops on. Yes, I always cross the rhythm. <laughs> We'll go ahead and you do your black. All right. I'll just have to see how this goes. And then what other color are you doing? That's it, gold, but I'm going to just try to drip the gold. Oh, uh, okay. All right, think. well, the only one I'm adding is a blue. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this black diamond deep blue C. I hope it looks like the sky. Pigment powders. Oh, I guess we haven't used that yet. No, I haven't. Oh, wow, that was, that's just too much. That is how I do. Uh. All right, let's see what we got. Let's do some mixing. I'm gonna start. Mix in your weight because I gotta use that first. All right, I'm gonna drool a little white on mine. All right, and we started with making sure our canvases were level. That's really important. <laughs> We found that out the hard way. It's not the pink I was hoping for. That's not dry yet either. I'm gonna add some clear. My rose gold is looking a little copper. my rose gold down here now. All 
All right, so now I'm gonna add the white on the other side. All right, I'm gonna do my blue. Ooh, I'm gonna outline my white with some clear real quick. We're reusing some canvases that looks like the kids had attempted to use at some point. And I thought, well, we're just gonna put resin on it. We'll just cover it right up. But guess what? The white doesn't cover it right up. I think I'm gonna hit it with the hair dryer. Hair dryer! I'm happy with what I got so far. Yeah, it's good. But I'm not done. Yeah. Now I'm coming in. I got these glow-in-the-dark little rocks. Oh, sprinkle them in. Craft Bay. <laughs> Have you been holding on to that? You've been. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Done. I'm done with mine. Great. Can you get a napkin and get this epoxy off my phone? Yeah. <laughs> All right. The gray silver worked. And now I'm going to try the black. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to add some crystals to mine too. No, oh. my craft bag. Okay, so now I was going to put some gold in the center. Okay, I kind of like the concept, but I should have put the gold on before the for the jewels. Yeah, you should have put the gold on before the jewels. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think mine's done. All right, done. We're calling it. We're gonna let it dry for like four hours, and then uh, I'm gonna add my vinyl. Six hours later. All right, all dry, my stickers on. That's what I got so far. And that's what I've got so far. 
very funky. Yes, I don't know if you can see the crystals in it. I'll show you some close-ups and final shots. Mine came out a little darker than I wanted it to, so I'm gonna add some LEDs behind it. Cut some boards, made a frame real quick. Just gonna nail it on. All right, that's what I got so far. I'm gonna hot glue in this uh, stuff. Where's the? Oh, I have the stapler downstairs. We can just staple them on. Yeah, you want to staple it? Yeah. Might be quicker. Let me get the safe water. Hot glue that in there. Yeah. Alright, what's it look like? I can't tell. Can't tell with all these lights. Came out okay, got a little wrinkly at the bottom because I left the rocks in there, so the rocks were in all the resins, so the vinyl picked up where the rocks were. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it. Came yeah, out okay. It looks really good. I love the sky. And these little glow in the dark stars are awesome. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like in the dark. Where's yours? It's looking good too. I like that rose gold, even though it looks copper. It's it looks it's totally copper. It's yeah, not it's rose copper. Gold. It's not rose gold, but it looks great. <laughs> it looks great. All right, babe. All right. Let's go hang these things. If you liked today's project, go ahead and give us a like. If you got something to say, leave us a comment. Tell us how good it was. Tell us how we could have improved it. Tell me how I should have laid off some of the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not yet subscribed and you like what we do, hit that subscribe button. And until next week, you can watch one of these videos over here, one of these older videos to catch you up.